Getty Images television writer and producer Wendy Riscatsunis became the second woman to publicly accuse Dustin Hoffman of sexual harassment on Tuesday, telling Variety about an incident she says took place in 1991. Risk Atsunis, currently an executive producer on the upcoming second season of National Geographic's Genius, says the harassment occurred during a meeting with Hoffman and screenwriter Murray Shizgal Tootsie to talk about adapting her play, A Darker Purpose, into a movie. Risk Atsunis had met with them once before and, she says, came to the second meeting with a revised pitch, only to be cut off. I go in, and this time it's like Dustin Hoffman's really different. He says, before you start, let me ask you one question, Wendy, have you ever been intimate with a man over 40 risk at Sunni said? Also read Brett Ratner to step away from Warner Brothers. Projects amid sexual misconduct allegations risk at Sunni said Hoffman next said, it would be a whole new body to explore, while opening his arms, and then tried to convince her to go with him to a clothing store inside a hotel nearby. She said Shiskel was also present at this meeting, and that he tried to convince her to go to the store with Hoffman. Risk Atsunis says she repeatedly declined the request, after which Hoffman left the meeting. Then, she said, Shizgal says, look, we're not really interested in your play, because it's too film norish. And that was it. She was in her early 20s at the time, while Hoffman was 53. A Darker Purpose was eventually adapted into the 1996 film The Winner starring Rebecca de Mornay and Vincent Donofrio. Also read two men accuse Kevin Spacey of sexual harassment representatives for Hoffman did not immediately respond to requests for comment from Fear App. In a statement provided to Variety, Shizgal denied the accusation. The accusation comes less than a day after Anna Graham Hunter accused Hoffman of attempting to grope her four times on the set of the 1985 TV film adaptation of Death of a Salesman when she was 17 years old. Hoffman later said in a statement, I have the utmost respect for women and feel terrible that anything I might have done could have put her in an uncomfortable situation. I am sorry. It is not reflective of who I am. The sudden ousting of Fox Sports president Jamie Horowitz and the suspension of Fox business host Charles Payne this week are the latest signs of a sea shift in the Murdochran entertainment giant in its response to allegations of sexual harassment and other questionable behavior by executives and on-air talent. Various July 6, 2016 Gretchen Carlson Files Lawsuit Against Roger Ailes Former Fox Friends anchor Gretchen Carlson filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Ailes, who denied her claims. Fox and Friends July 9, 2016 Six other women claim Ailes harassed them Former Republican National Committee field advisor Kelly Boyle and model Marsha Callahan were among the six women who accused Ailes of previous harassment. Ailes denied the claims, Getty Images July 19, 2016 Megan Kelly says she was sexually harassed by Ailes Amit an external law firm's investigation into the multiple claims against Ailes, then primetime host Megan Kelly told investigators that she had been harassed by Ailes years ago. Kelly wrote in her memoir about talking to investigators about the allegations, Fox News July 21, 2016 Ailes resigns Fox News announced that Ailes had resigned as network chairman after two decades of dominating cable news, walking away with a $40 million severance package. Getty Images January 10, 2017 Bill Orley settlement comes to light news surfaced that the Orly Factor host had previously settled with Juliet Huddy, a Fox News employee who claimed he tried to derail her career after she rebuffed his romantic advances. Getty Images March 8, 2017 Fox News settles with Tamara and Holder Fox News paid former on-air contributor Tamara and Holder more than $2.5 million following allegations that Fox News Latino Vice President Francisco Quartz tried to coerce her into performing oral sex on him. Fox News Latina March 24, 2017 Fox News controller Judy Slater Sackett Fox News has fired longtime controller Judy Slater after an internal investigation concluded she had engaged in a pattern of racist comments and behavior several of the employees later filed lawsuits against the network over the incidents. Fox News April 1, 2017 Claims against Orly settled for $13 million A New York Times investigation found that Orly and Fox News had paid $13 million in total to five women who had worked or appeared on Orly Factor over the years and made claims of sexual harassment or other inappropriate behavior. Fox News April 3, 2017 Another lawsuit against Ailes and Fox News Fox News contributor Julie Roginski filed a lawsuit accusing Ailes of sexually harassing her. She also alleged that Fox News co-president Bill Shine retaliated against her for making the claims. Ailes denied the allegations, and Shine declined to comment. 
Getty Images April 19, 2017 Fox News cuts ties with O'Reilly Fox News announced that Orly would not return to the network following its external investigation into claims of sexual harassment. Twitter April 21, 2017 Debbie Schlussel claims Sean Hannity invited her to his hotel Former Fox News guest Debbie Schlussel claimed that primetime host Sean Hannity had once invited her back to his hotel after an event they attended, and that she was never invited back to Hannity's show after she rebuffed his advances. The host denied the claims. Schlussel later clarified that she did not consider the encounter to constitute sexual harassment. I thought he was weird and creepy, she told Law News. Getty Images April 24, 2017 Andrea Tarantos files her own lawsuit Andrea Tinteros, a former host of the Fox show The Five, filed a new lawsuit against Ailes, Shine and other network executives, claiming that an extensive online harassment campaign had been waged against her. Fox News said arbitration and called Tinteros not a victim but an opportunist. Various May 1, 2017 Bill Shine resigns following Roginsky and Toronto's lawsuits. Fox News announced that Shine was exiting the network. Getty Images May 19, 2017 Bob Beckel fired at Fox News Fox News fired the five co-host Bob Beckel after he was accused of making an insensitive remark to an African-American employee. Fox News Human Resources took less than 48 hours to investigate the incident and recommend dismissal, a network executive told Therap. Fox News June 19, 2017 Investigation by the State of New York The New York State Division on Human Rights launched an investigation into Fox News over her sexual harassment claims by former Orly Factor guest commentator Wendy Walsh against Orly, Walsh's attorney Lisa Bloom said. Orly has denied Walsh's claims. Fox News July 3, 2017 Fox Sports fires Jamie Horowitz Jamie Horowitz was abruptly ousted from his position as president of Fox Sports National Networks amid allegations of sexual harassment against Horowitz, an individual familiar with the matter told the New York Times. Horowitz's attorney denied any misconduct. Getty Images July 6, 2017 Fox Business suspends Charles Payne Charles Payne, the host of Fox Business Making Money, was suspended by the network due to an investigation over a three-year relationship with a married political analyst who appeared as a guest on Fox Business and Fox News, the Los Angeles Times reported. Payne denied allegations of sexual harassment, calling them an ugly lie. Fox The sudden ousting of Fox Sports president Jamie Horowitz and the suspension of Fox business host Charles Payne this week are the latest signs of a sea shift in the Murdochran entertainment giant in its response to allegations of sexual harassment and other questionable behavior by executives and on-air talent.